another thing that I want to talk about, obviously, it's a much talk about thing, and I actually thought about it uh, quite a lot because obviously it concerns some activists like us as well. Uh, because somewhat some people can see that maybe we are speaking against the state of Pakistan, even though I've made it quite clear that I'm, I am not in favor of disintegration of Pakistan. I think Pakistan's stability is good for the world, good for the region. Um, I, I do want Pakistan to get better and uh, advance as a modern country, not as a dogmatic religious country. So um, I, I, I don't want Pakistan to disintegrate. I want Pakistan to do well. Pakistan to to advance, uh, move forward. Um, but there are obviously some activists who are anti-Pakistan, anti-Pakistan um, establishment, military, and its government. The as some of you might know, there's a province of Balochistan, which is a there's a quite vibrant, aggressive, separatist movement going on, and Pakistan military is accused of abusing human rights and abducting people. And um, it, it's not even a lie. It's actually true because Imran Khan, when he was in the opposition, he also used to talk about those missing people. But ever since he's come to government, for some reason, he's forgotten about that issue. But we know what that is. Um, and I, I must say that there is a hypocrisy amongst Pakistani people that below separatists, they view them as terrorists. But Kashmir separatists they view them as freedom fighters <laughs> you know um so I, so that's why i can never understand the hypocrisy i mean if i used to think that kashmir should be allowed to hold this referendum and decide where they want to go but i when i held that view i also hold the view that balochistan should be given the same um should be given the same uh, courtesy as well uh, there should be a referendum in balochistan as well and let's see if they where they want to go do they want to be independent they want to be a part of uh, part of uh, Pakistan or what. But I, 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 I know that as idealistic as, I, as it might be, I don't think that's a realistic solution. I think I would actually want all India, Pakistan to be united in not so distant future, obviously not straight away, because first step is to get rid of Islam, because that is an aggressive ideology. While there is Islam, I think India is probably better off without, uh, uh, without united or greater India. Uh, but there's no point in further disintegration of Pakistan. But there are some Baloch activists. There was a Baloch activist called Karima Baloch. She was found dead um, a few days ago, I think on 21st or 22nd of this month. Now, that was very concerning because um, in April, 21st of April this year, another Baloch activist, Sajid Hussein Baloch, was found dead in Sweden. Um, he was going to pick up keys for his new apartment, and on his way somewhere, he went disappeared. Uh, he he disappeared and was found dead in a river, cause of death, um, accidental drowning, or, um, or or actually probably there was no other or that was it. Um, so we thought, okay, okay, one off, maybe now there's some other theories have emerged that maybe he was overly drunk and he just fell in the river and drowned. But very similar thing happened with this young woman, Karima Baloch, a Baloch activist. She escaped Pakistan in 2016 to seek refuge in Canada. Her dead body was found today at Harbour Front, which is, uh, well, I'm assuming it's a harbour in t Toronto. Uh, Tariq Fateh is here saying my condolences to her husband, Hamal Haider, and the Baloch community in US, Canada, and occup occupied Balochistan. Okay, he wants to call it occupied Balochistan. Um, but but that's a hypocrisy on both sides. He want, he wants to call occupied Balochistan, but he wouldn't call occupied Kashmir. I would say you know these are disputed territories, and local people have the first right over it. And again, I would say it's a probably unrealistic solution. But you know, talk to these people and hold a referendum and see what they want. Uh, uh, fix their grievances, fix their economy. Um, and don't do it by force, both sides, whether that's Kashmir or Balochistan or any other part of the world. Uh, but anyway, besides that, Amnesty International also spoke about it, and they said the death of activist Karima Baloch in Toronto, Canada, is deeply shocking and must be immediately and effectively investigated. The perpetrators must be brought to justice without recourse to the death penalty. There was a lot of... Uh, this was the um, Twitter account of Karima Baloch, late Karima Baloch. Um, I, my heart goes out to her and her family. Obviously, whatever you 
opinions, political opinions might be, you sh you know, nobody, nobody should be murdered. That's obviously a given. Um, so some conspiracy theories are circulating in the same ISI, Pakistan Intelligence um, Agency, is involved in that. Uh, as you guys know, I'm not a believer of uh, conspiracy theories, even though circumstantial evidence does suggest that, you know, Pakistan ISI could have a hand in that. But unfortunately, my life's principle is unless there is evidence, I can't just I, I just I just can't um, accept it. Um, and I said in my Urdu stream, even if my dead body is found in a river, <laughs> you know, and there's no um, there's no evidence, then you know it is what it is. I'm 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 sorry, but if they do leave evidence, then go for them. Um, I even made out a tweet that I am not suicidal. I'm not looking to die. I want to live a thousand years if I could. So you know, if I'm found dead, you know, start with ISI. <laughs> but, but again, that that's just as I said. Um, if if they do it, they do it without leaving a trace of bad luck. Uh, we can't jump to a conclusion, especially when Toronto police has actually said they haven't found any evidence of foul play. Um, I do, again, my heart, my, my mind, one part of my mind says, you know, it, it's highly coincidental that within six months or actually eight months, two below activists have died by drowning. That somehow, you know, it just doesn't make sense. But again, how come Swedish police and and Toronto police find no evidence of foul play. Either they're in on it, or uh, it's a job. It's a very good job done. It's a clean job done by ISI. Um, but I watched a documentary about how Mossad agents hit this Palestinian guy, general, uh, or a terrorist, as they would like to call him, in Dubai, in a Dubai hotel. You know, there was like hit squad there was a, a reconnaissance squad multiple reconnaissance squad the couple of hit squads and they were they they just you know um they went in together with, uh, in dubai which was a hostile country for to israel back in the day there were no diplomatic relationships and um and they did it and they just went in and they just killed him in the hotel and they went out uh, but they left uh, a l lot of trail um so uh, we, we know what happened with the, with, with the Russian guy when they tried to give him uh, 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 FSB did with the, with, with the Russian guy um, in London. They left a mess for uranium. We know what happened with Jamal Khashoggi. So I, I believe there's a lot of that thing can leave a lot of evidence. But if ISI is doing it so cleanly that, you know, no, nothing's been picked up on the surveillance cameras. There's no record of flights or anything. Then what is it? You know, it's... it's um, um i <laughs> being a pakistani i know the pakistanis are not good at anything so i don't know uh and, and unfortunately as a matter of policy my, my heart goes out to kareem abaloch this young woman but um i can't i can't give a conclusive um statement on that uh, either or in favor um of isi to help me produce more videos like these support me on Patreon or PayPal.